Rabbanit Shira Marili Mervis is now the proud leader of Shirat Tamar Synagogue in the West Bank Israeli settlement of Ifrat. And she's an Orthodox Jew. This a noteworthy and unusual feat in the Orthodox world and still unseemly to many in it. But how did she get here, you ask? Well, she kind of fell into it. So Shirat Tamar was established three years ago. We moved into the neighborhood and we joined that group of people. They knew that I was learning halakha, so people started asking me questions. Uh, and bit by bit, I started uh, taking a n- informal role of being the rabbanit of the community. And pretty soon, her community work was expanding and gaining significant traction. A few months ago, Rabbi Riskin, who's the chief rabbi of Efrat, called. And he said, I know that you're the informal rabbanit of the community. I want to make it formal. And after a few uh, community uh, discussions, there was a vote. of the community voted for, and we did a ceremony. Rav Riskin ordained me, and the community chose me as their rabbanit, and ever since, uh, it's a formal role that I'm playing. Marily Mervis is embracing this rarity, especially in Israel, and never having expected this for herself, to her, it's a blessing and an opportunity for growth. I see myself as a feminist, and I live halachic orthodox life. By definition, these two things are not always compatible. And in definition, these two things are our intention sometimes. Um, but that's okay, I'm, I'm not afraid from tension, meaning I think tension and the points where we struggle, these are the points that are allowing us to develop our identity, to think, to ask the right questions, to try to answer the questions. And I think that will help my Jewish life or my Orthodox life to grow. And I think it will help my feminist identity to grow. And though she recognizes that not everyone is comfortable with her position, so far she's only received positive reactions. Now as for her hopes for the future... Hopefully there will be many, many women that will be able to take part in leadership roles in orthodoxy. I'm hoping that we'll be able to create a environment in which maybe women are not counted for minyan, but it's not all that matters because they are part of the community and not only part of the minyan. So I'm sure it's going to evolve even more. I can't imagine how, just like I couldn't imagine me being a rabbanit when I was growing up. I, I, I don't know what the future will bring. But I'm hoping tefillah will be a very meaningful part of it and the community will be a very meaningful part of that.